Anthony Kumi is trying to take down Beige Frequency. Be- Beige Frequency is the guy on YouTube who made the Demented World series about Anthony Kumi, pretty much like a documentary. I think he did one about his brother Joe, and his new one, is, which is pretty huge, is one about Amy Schumer. Now, I think he was done with Anthony, like, a month ago was his last one on Anthony. Then he moved on to Amy Schumer. And I think it's going to continue to move on. So I find the timing of this odd, but Kumi is now trying to take him down. So Beige tweeted out, at Team YouTube, eight of my videos talking about Anthony Kumia have been hit with privacy complaints. I've noticed this as a new thing within, like, the past three months. I've gotten these people who are public figures trying to hit your videos with privacy complaints. They never go anywhere, but... This is cl- clearly an abuse of the privacy complaint system because Anthony Cumia is a public figure and radio slash podcast host of 25 years and my videos only contain public information, which is true. So um, he posted a picture and I believe this is of um, the uh, eight different videos. Half in the binge, the deep end, the deep end. <laughs> the joke coming <laughs> the deep yeah they're all the deep end so like you've become this desperate kumi you had to hit beige frequency all extra late by the way i mean the videos have pretty much gotten all the views they're going to get what a weird time to try and hit them but beige will be fine he's first of all he's right anthony kumi is a public figure so that doesn't matter but See, they try and scare you with the privacy complaints, but it's a dumb thing to file. Like, when people file a privacy complaint, they're basically admitting that they're snitching on you, but they're doing it in the worst way because YouTube won't do anything about it. Not even about a public thing. Like, if I did a video on some YouTuber and then said his name, he couldn't do a privacy complaint. Unless you're doc, a privacy complaint is basically saying you're doxing somebody. You can't dox anyone who puts themselves out there publicly. So if I did a YouTube video on a YouTuber, but like I used his real name, then maybe a privacy thing would come out. But other than that, no. So I don't know what Anthony was thinking in this one. I don't know if it was Anthony or someone over at Compound Media or Anthony instructed it, that probably, that drunkard probably just finally came upon them. He goes, hey, these guys are doing videos about this guy, Beige Frequency. Get those videos taken down. Uh, it's so corny. But I, uh, Compound Media likes to do this. The, the infamous instance with me where I was in, well, I asked Anthony Comey if I can go. At the time, it was the AA show. It was still Anthony and Artie. And uh, I think Artie wasn't there, though, because this is the start of, I think, right after Artie got arrested. And uh, Anthony said yes. He used to follow me on Twitter, Anthony Kumi, and, he direct, and we talked in direct message, and he said yes. Then the fight with um, Ron Bennington and Colin Flaherty happened, and I made a video about it. And they did a copyright takedown. But it was a video of me talking. And I didn't, I didn't play any of the fight. I just said, this fight happened, and then they put it up on their YouTube channel. But they did that copyright thing, so I fought it. But it was one of those things where you have to put your real name to dispute it. So they got my real name, then canceled my Compound Media subscription and doxed me on Twitter. <laughs> so, um, yeah, they be doing weirdo moves. So they did a false copyright strike on me just to get my name, to cancel my Compound Media subscription, and to dox me on Twitter, and disinvite me to Compound Media. Once again, out of nowhere, weird situation. Why they would do it made no sense to me, but they do weirdo stuff like this. I mean, the company's being ran by a wet-brained and incompetent cop. (laughs) It's about to go, like, dummy Anthony, he's not making any more money from this. He made money from Compound Media. The additional sign-ups, hiring Artie, those sign-ups, but now 
He's losing money doing this. There's no more trips to the casino. There's no... The dude takes a train into Manhattan. He used to drive in. I mean, there's no more expensive frigging vacations. You don't hear the crazy stories anymore because there's nothing happening. And this man is dumb enough. And Keith the Cop is incompetent enough. They will run this business into the ground. Because one would have switched it up by now. Hell, you know what was the worst damage to their business? Keep the cops screwing up the website. So basically, the only way you could subscribe, you couldn't, for, for like a good week there, no, you couldn't sign up to Cop on Media. And the people who were, who were signed up couldn't access the new website. They lost a bunch of subs over that. The man is blacklisted from show business, blackballed, not even allowed at Sirius XM to plug his shows or anything. It's just, and his brother is an attention whore looking for any attention he could possibly get. But why now? That, that's my question. Why now, Hit Beige? Doesn't make any sense. And by the way, nice way to have a sense of humor about yourself. I mean, Porcelain made the worm's turn in Sam Roberts' documentary. You gotta give credit to them. They haven't tried doing privacy things or any sort of takedown. Because they get it. You remember when um, Anthony first started attacking the Reddit and then offered up the bounty? On Jim and Sam, they talked about it. And they sort of took Reddit's side and they were basically like, look, there's nothing you can do with people on the internet. They're just doing whatever. Just roll with the punches. Who cares that... Ooh, Joe Button. Uh, who cares that this guy Beige Frequency... By the way, he made a video. Basically, Beige Frequency, his videos are just... Anth he hardly talks in them. He plays mostly just clips of Anthony. So, like, it's your own words, dummy. It's your own streams. It's your own actions. And amazingly, I must say, Beige did it without playing any compound media footage because then that would give Anthony an in to take it down through copyright. But just... Anthony Comey has done so much insane stuff. He's done even more on Compound, but you don't even need to play the stuff from Compound to make him look bad. Trust me, you get your hands, oh, there's so much stuff he said that you would love to just upload to YouTube, but you can't, because they'll take it down immediately. So, I, I don't get why hit Beige now. I say go support him, Beige Frequency. Go rewatch his Demented World series. Go watch his Amy Schumer documentary, which I did finally watch the full thing and enjoyed. And uh, this means Kumi is on the ropes here. <laughs> I, 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 I must say, I'm finding it odd now. I mean, you know, look at this. I think the last one he made was over a month ago. And the fact that he hit them all, by the way. He didn't just hit one video, two video. They tried taking every single one of them down. Like, sorry, Kumi, you're a public figure. Like, you're embarrassed by this? Dude, you got fired from SiriusXM for racism. <laughs> then you got arrested for domestic violence. It being put in the document. We all know it's stupid. This would, You know what this would be like? The Young Turks have talked about Anthony Kumi a bunch of times. Could you imagine him trying to take down a Young Turks video for for privacy? No. Well, can't take down their video. Don't try and take down Beige's. But like I've said, this is Compound Media's MO. They don't know what they're doing. They just try and copyright and privacy thing. They try and strike everything. It usually doesn't work. YouTube usually sides with you because all you have to do... By the way, when you're responding back to YouTube, when you send me that email, just let them know who Anthony Cumia is. And let a, they, they usually always take the side of the content creator over a person fired for racism. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so go check out all of Bay Frequency's videos and uh, bad form, Trampa, bad form.
Look, if you don't want people playing your stuff on the internet, dude, do you know how much crazy stuff I do during live streams and then people make videos of them? You know, I could take every single one of them down, but why? People have seen me do it. There's no, can't deny that it happened. So I, there's like eight other channels that upload me doing something crazy during a live stream. I could take down the video, but I don't because I did it publicly. So it is what it is. Just deal with it, Kumia.